got a couple tablespoons of olive oil in my pot and to that we're gonna add onion and uh, the flame is on medium but I'm just bringing it up to medium then I'm gonna lower it down just a tiny bit because I want to cook out the onion and everything else this is the sort of the base for everything yeah we have done curry shrimp with potato before but this one here you will see a slight difference and that difference is well two things three things actually as we go on I'll explain them to you but what we got to start off here with is with onions and I also have quite a bit of garlic that's about eight cloves of garlic that I crushed I don't want anything to burn so as I said earlier there I'm just gonna turn my heat down to low now I'm also gonna add a bit of black pepper in here it's been about three minutes so I've got Caribbean green seasoning that's gonna go in there because I am not seasoning the shrimp in advance and this is the shrimp I have here some medium-sized shrimp one pound peeled the vein and washed with the juice of a lemon but all of that Caribbean green seasoning is going in here that Caribbean green seasoning adds that lovely herbal note to everything we cook in the Caribbean just about everything yeah and you can head over to caribbeanpod.com and I have that Caribbean green seasoning there essentially what it is it's a puree and for my base it's olive oil a puree of all the herbs we like using in our dishes along with seasoning peppers and garlic and other you know all kind of niceties in there but we want to cook out the sort of rawness out of everything here because this is the base of that wicked curry that we're making I also want some heat so I've got some bird's eye pepper I'm just gonna crack them in there or what we call bird pepper in the Caribbean twisty twist now spicy peppers wash your hands with soap and water after your top shake cocoa looks after and you know what it's pure pressure so don't do that all right but we have that in there if you any sort of spicy pepper you want you can add in there if you don't like spicy obviously you don't need to add any so these three sort of the differences you will see with this recipe is one we're seasoning all of that seasoning and flavor is coming from here traditionally we would season the shrimp set it to marinate for about 15 20 minutes with the caribbean green seasoning some salt and black pepper this rounds we're doing it a little bit differently along with some ground masala and both things you can find at your favorite West Indian or Caribbean grocery store obviously you can't have curry shrimp without curry powder so in goes that curry powder and the full recipe in its printable format will be available at caribbeanpod.com you know step by step with the accurate ingredient list everything in there so this is the second sort of change up that I was talking about there earlier and you know traditionally a sort of a slurry would be created with water and the curry powder as long as well as the jeera and everything else and that would be tossed in here with the hot oil we're doing things a bit differently because I like to sort of wet toast sort of fry all of those spices which makes up that curry powder I want it to really bloom before we add water in there and you know heat oil it just brings it does magic it does magic what we'll say we're gonna give this another few minutes because and again we have this on a low heat eh? so just be mindful that we're not trying to burn anything whatsoever of course we're gonna need salt I don't like using sea salt that's just a choice thing whatever salt you like using you can add it in here just gonna give that another mix later on we will taste and adjust the salt accordingly the sort of third thing that's a little bit different um, that we're doing in this recipe is I am pre-boiling the potato in salted water once those potato are about 99% cooked actually all the way done we're gonna drain it and in a few minutes we're gonna add it to the pot here but this quickens up everything because the last thing we want to do is to overcook the shrimp and this is one of those methods of doing a good curry shrimp without um, overcooking the shrimp now I have two other versions of this recipe one where we season the shrimp we we quickly fried it in the oil remove it after about a minute or two and then we built the curry and we added back the shrimp later the other version I have of it is completely season the shrimp and at the end at the end of cooking with the potato the potato will take about 20 minutes to cook 
that's when you would add the shrimp, seasoned shrimp, to the pot. In this case here, we're doing things a little bit differently, but those two other recipes can be found also at CaribbeanPot.com. Once the base here has achieved that nice dark color, everything has started to melt down, the onion, the garlic, all those different things, we have a nice thick base. Your, your cool kitchen should have that lovely aroma of a good curry. What we need to do now is to add water. Just moving it around because I want to bring this up to a boil. And to help add body and to bring in that sort of acidity to things, I like some diced tomato in here. That's going to cook down and that's going to help give us a nice lovely gravy for the ending of things. So all we have to do is bring that up to a boil. We're gonna let it go in that rolling boil for about four or five minutes. And yo, then the shrimp going in there, the pre-boiled potato in there, and taste for salt and we're good. It's been about four minutes. We've got a vigorous boil going. Just gonna stir that. I'm gonna leave it uncovered now. And we're gonna let that reduce and really heighten the flavor of the curry and allow that tomato to melt down. We want this is uh, there's too much liquid in here, but we did that on purpose just so we have enough liquid to cook out that tomato to create that nice sauce for us. Being very gentle, I don't want to make a mess on the stove. I'm gonna add the pre boiled potato because I want that pre boiled potato to suck up some of that nice gravy, that rich, deep flavor we created with the curry powder, the masala, the uh, cumin, or jeera. Yo, man, we really need that to suck up all that niceness, eh? Keep it on that rolling boil. And if you want it, in a couple minutes, after the potato has sucked up some of the niceness here, you can crush a couple of the potato to help thicken up the gravy, should you want. I'm just going to allow it to reduce down this for a couple more minutes. It's been four minutes since I added the potato in here. We're going to wrap things up. What we need to do is add that peeled and deveined and washed shrimp in. Make sure you tuck them down all inside that lovely curry sauce that we created there. And with this pot, I know my clay pot here, it retains a lot of heat. So what I will do is let this go on that sort of medium flame for a minute and a half. Then I'm gonna turn off the stove and allow the residual heat to organize me accordingly. So just be mindful of the residual heat because again, we did all that work to avoid having your know, chewing gum shrimp. We don't have no, we really want no chewing gum shrimp. No, avoid that at all costs. I went ahead and I turned off the stove. Taste of the salt at this point, adjust the salt to your liking. I have here some chopped cilantro. If you want to use shadow benny, totally up to you. If you, you know, cilantro is coriander. Some of you may know it as coriander. And the shadow benny, some of you may know it as culantro. All we need to do now is give that a good mix. Your stove is off. Remember the stove is off. Sup <laughs> soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me. Email address down here. I'm really trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene? Irene. My stove is completely off. Hit them another quick stir. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, our third take on curry shrimp with potato. Nice big plump pieces of your plump shrimp, big pieces of potato. Get to your verbiage correct there, Chris. Anyhow, I do hope you all get an opportunity to give this one a try. It's a nice thing, man. And so, you know, what did it take? About half an hour? I mean to say about a little 15-20 minutes prep time, but what do you understand where I'm coming from, yeah?